Hello, this is Abu Zar from Math Concepts channel. In this video, we find the node capacity of a depth in a binary tree. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems. A binary tree is a hierarchical tree where each node has at most two children. The root node is top node of the binary tree that has no parent. A depth is a set of nodes that have equal edge distances from root. Each node in depth D has exactly D edge distances from root. As an example, root node is at depth 0 as there is no edges between root and itself. Each node at depth 1 has exactly one edge distance from root. Let us denote n of d as the number of nodes at depth d of the binary tree. We show that node capacity of depth d or maximum number of nodes that can be placed at depth D of a binary tree is 2 to the power of D. In other words, we show that N of D is less than or equal to 2 to the power of D. Let us consider an example for a binary tree with four depths. We show that for each depth D, the number of nodes at depth D is less than or equal to 2 to the power of D. In other words, we show that N of D is less than or equal to 2 to the power of D. Let us consider depth 0. There is only one node that is root node as depth 0. Thus, we have N of 0 is 1 and 1 equals 2 to the power of 0. Here we have the equation n of 0 equals 2 to the power of 0. At depth 1, we have maximum number of available nodes in depth 1, that is 2. Therefore, we have n of 1 is equal to 2, and 2 equals 2 to the power of 1. Thus, we have the equation n of 1 equals 2 to the power of 1. At depth 2, we have 3 nodes. Thus, n of 2 equals 3, and 3 is less than 4, and 4 equals 2 to the power of 2. Therefore, n of 2 is less than 2 to the power of 2. At depth 3, we have 6 nodes. Thus, n of 3 equals 6, and 6 is less than 8, and 8 equals 2 to the power of 3. Therefore, we have the equation n of 3 is less than 2 to the power of 3. At depth 4, we have only 3 nodes. And 3 is less than 16, and 16 equals 2 to the power of 4. Thus, we have n of 4 is less than 2 to the power of 4. Thus, we see that in this example, for all depths d, we have the equation n of d is less than or equal to 2 to the power of d. Please pause this video now and take a paper and pen and try to find the maximum node capacity of a depth in binary tree by yourself. As a hint, use induction on depth of the tree to show that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth D of the binary tree is 2 to the power of D. We use induction to show that maximum number of nodes that can be placed in depth D of the binary tree is 2 to the power of D. In other words, we use induction to show that n of d is less than or equal to 2 to the power of d. In our induction approach, we first prove the induction basis. 
we prove for depth 0, n of 0 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 0. Then we assume for depth k minus 1, n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k minus 1. Based on nature of our problem and induction assumption, we prove the induction claim. We show that for depth k, n of k is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k. Our induction basis is depth 0. Only root node is placed at depth 0. Therefore, n of 0 is equal to 1 and 1 equals 2 to the power of 0. Thus, we have n of 0 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 0. Thus, we have proved the induction basis. We make the induction assumption. We assume that for d equals to k minus 1, n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k minus 1. Now, we prove the induction claim. We show that using the induction assumption and the hierarchical structure of binary tree, n of k is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k. Each node in depth k minus 1 has at most two children in depth k. Thus, n of k is less than or equal to 2 times n of k minus 1. Based on induction assumption, we assumed n of k minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k minus 1. Therefore, n of k is less than or equal to 2 times 2 to the power of k minus 1, that is equal to 2 to the power of k. Thus, we have n of k is less than or equal to 2 to the power of k, that is the maximum capacity of depth k. Note that maximum depth capacity n of k equals 2 to the power of k happens if and only if each node in all upper depths, depth 0 to depth k minus 1, has exactly two children. At depth 0, we have only one node that is root. Thus, maximum number of nodes at depth 0 equals 1, that is equal to 2 to the power of 0. Node root has exactly two children. Thus, at depth 1, we have maximum number of nodes equals 2 times maximum number of nodes at depth 0, that is equal to 2 times 1, that is equal to 2 to the power of 1. Each node at depth 1 has exactly two children. Thus, at depth 2, Maximum number of nodes equals 2 times maximum number of nodes at depth 1, that is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of 1, that is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Continuing this inductive approach, each node at depth k minus 1 has exactly two children. Thus, maximum number of nodes at depth k equals 2 times maximum number of nodes at depth k minus 1, that is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of k minus 1, equals 2 to the power of k. Thus, we achieve maximum node capacity at each depth if and only if each node in all upper depths has exactly two children. Thank you for watching this video. 
please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about the conceptual mathematics problems.